McCarthy Math Academy where I teach you how to pass the Math FSA starting with grade 3. Today I made another mistake and forgot to put this little 3 here because that means that we are doing third grade work. So it's maths.3.nf.1.2 which is fractions on a number line and I left our numerator, numerator and denominator up here. You see that number on top? That's called the numerator. It describes the amount that is being considered and when you jump down from the fraction bar denominator, it's the total number of equal parts. Let me give you an example. Boom for the song, right here. But let me teach you. Okay, example one. Which fraction is represented by the total length marked on the number line shown? Number lines are usually pretty hard for you kiddos and you teachers to teach and parents. If you're looking, it's it's a hard one for your children. Um, so hopefully this video helps make a little bit more sense for how to do fractions on a number line. So here we have a fraction that is less than one. We've got a shaded amount right here. And we've got zero and we have one. This is an equation editor item. So between 0 and 1, let's figure out first our denominator, the total number of equal parts, the one that's down. So I'm going to count the hops from 0 to 1. I don't count it until I land on the next one. So 1, 2, 3. There are 3 hops total. That is my total number of equal parts. And the shaded mark ends at this point right here. So how many hops does it take to get to that point? So one hop, two hops. So two-thirds. This, um, the length marked on the number line is showing two-thirds. That's all that you need to write. By the way, I wanted to mention that it would be really helpful for you if you had the same problems that I was working on. Um, so if you look down in the description box below, there is a link to my teacher's store. I want you to click that link and it will take you to the complete third grade guide to passing the math FSA. Um, download that and you will be a rock star. I'm telling you, a rock star. So let's continue with example two. This is a grid item, a graphic response item display. Um, I've said in the past I'm not sure how they grade this on the FSA, but I want to make sure that I include it because they were in those test item specifications. So um, circle the number line that should be used to correctly plot the fraction 3 fourths. So that's step one. Then plot the point to show its correct location on the selected number line. So let me make sure I understand. First, I need to circle the one that shows where I could plot the fraction 3 fourths. Oh, drop my pen, sorry. Um, then I need to plot the point. So because it is 3 fourths, and fourths is our total number of equal parts, I'm going to find the one that's broken into fourths. So this one from 0 to 1 has one, two. This one would be broken into halves. This one would be one, two, three, broken into thirds, which means I must be this one. One, two, three, four. Yes, it is broken into fourths. So this is the one, the number line I'm going to be using. On a computer test, you would then have to take this point and drag it to the proper location. But for third grade, it will not be a computerized test this year. So I'm just going to show you what you could do, what it maybe would call for you to do on a problem. So if this is 3 fourths, I'm looking at my numerator now, which is 3. And that's the, describes the amount that is being considered. So I'm considering 3, starting at 0. I'm going to count 3 spaces, and that's where my point's going to go. 1, 2, 3 and that would be three-fourths. 
Are you ready for the classic multiple choice question? Because I am. It says which number line is divided into fourths? Fourths, which means my four is my denominator. It's the total number of equal parts. So when I look at A, I see here is zero, here is one, and there is no fraction in between. It is not broken into parts. So therefore, it could not be this one. It's just broken into holes. This one, zero, one, and we have one, two jumps, which means this one is divided into halves. Here, one, two, three, equal jumps divided into thirds, three, Third, just like you're in third grade, or you might be a third grade teacher or a third grade parent learning more about the math FSA. You like how I threw that one in there? No, that was lame. Keep teaching us, please. One, two, three, four, broken into fourths. Bingo was his name, O-B-I-N-G, bye. Was she really just singing bingo? Yeah. I was. Bingo's awesome, okay? Oh, <laughs> hey, sorry. Uh, so example four. Select the fractions which are represented by the total length marked on the number line shown. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see it, but if you had your complete guide to passing the FSA, you would be able to see it on your own as well. Um, this is a multi-select question, so it could be A, B, C, D, or E. It could be more than one answer, so let's see. Oh, this is a fraction greater than one. It's a little scary. This is where kids stumble, so make sure you pay attention. <gasps> okay. All right, so here are my holes. This is one. I'm sorry. This is zero, this is one, and this is two. So it is past the one hole, and it is close to the two, but it is one and then a fraction, not quite a hole yet. So, and let's see what the, um, what the denominator is. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six jumps, that means my denominator should be six, I'm just making sure here, one, two, three, four, five, six jumps for the total number of equal parts. So my denominator is six. Okay. Five, well, let me, so here I have at least one hole. And then my numerator would be one, two, three, four, five, because this is where it ends. So 5 and my denominator is 6. So we need something that says 1 and 5 sixths. It's not 5 sixths because 5 sixths is over here behind the one hole. And we're looking for something that is right here. 1 and 5 sixths. That's just the word form of the fraction that I wrote. So yes. But I'm not done. Check all the answers. It could be another one. 1 and 5, that would be correct if it said 1 and 5, 6, but it's missing the 6, so no, that's wrong. 1 and 5, 6, yeah, that's what I wrote up here, silly pants. 15, 6, well, let me see. 15, 6 would look like this, 15, 6, and that means from the start, I would have 15 jumps. Let me see how many jumps I've had total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, it would be 11 sixths if I was writing it as a fraction greater than 1. Woo! So after that last one, sorry that I was out of the picture for a second. Did you miss me? Um, after that last one, this one is going to be so easy because it is not a fraction greater than one. It's a fraction less than one whole. So it says, which fraction is represented by the total length on the number line shown? I've got a zero for this side. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I've got a one for this side. So it's a fraction in here. 
first. Like I said before, you find your denominator, your total number of equal parts from one whole to the next. So hop with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is my denominator. And my numerator is describing the amount that is being considered. They're saying, hey, people, consider me ending right there. Where am I? Well, you are one, two, three hops away, so three eighths. If I put my answer there, it is wrong because this is an equation editor. People, it needs to go into the box. But you knew that because you've been watching all my other videos. Uh, you can't leave yet, mm, so don't even try, because I need to give you some words of motivation, and really, it's more of a challenge. I challenge you to be a good listener. There's so many people that I meet every day who just don't listen. Like, I know that you were listening to this really cool video that you just watched, but to be a good listener, take this and... Mm, listen to other people for a chance. And that doesn't mean waiting patiently for the opportunity to talk. It means genuinely listening and caring about what they're saying. Try it. Sorry that I'm yelling. I don't mean to. But that's something I'm working on. I'm working on trying to be, I, I think that I'm a pretty good listener, but I'm trying to work on being an even better listener. So work on it with me. And in the comments below, I want you to tell me how many times today, how many people that you interacted with, where you were a good listener. 